Welcome to Onboardable. So in this quick video, I'm going to show you how to use the doc editor under your service management. So we created the doc editor so that you can template out any frequent documents that you use in your firm. So we already have templates here for you to use, but if you have a document that you do use frequently that you get over to clients, you're going to go ahead and add it here. So we are going to click on this template library plus icon. And then we're going to browse the document that you frequently use. So for example, I went to the IRS website and I put up form 2848 and I already downloaded this to my computer. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to find this file on my computer. I'm going to upload it. And then now I'm going to name this file. So I'm going to name it form 2848. And then I'm going to hit save. Now, when I click on form 2848, that original template is here. So now what I want to do is go ahead and edit it out. So with the dynamic document editor, it allows you to insert these dynamic fields. So we can see for the form 48 or 2848, there's a lot of fields that need to be completed. So really the dynamic doc editor is really just trying to help reduce a lot of your workload and getting this information on your most frequently used documents. So what you're going to do is take your client's first name, your client last name, their address is asked here. So we're going to put client address, right? And then it says date, time, telephone number. So let's put the client telephone number here. What else can we put on here? You can upload your professional information. So let's go ahead and put professionals, first name, professionals, last name, and then professional address. All right. All right. What else can we put on here? You see, you can add your CAF number, professional CAF number, professional P10, and then we have professional telephone number. And that is it for this one. So now we're going to go to page two, which is your client signature. So we're going to go here. And then we're going to go to client first name, where it says print name, client last name. And let's see what else can we do. Okay, so that is what you can do. Let's see. Okay, so now that you have this templated up for you, now we're going to go ahead and save it. All right. And then what we're going to do is click on this little white screen to make it the default selection for form 2848. All right. So now we're going to go to your automations. So let's say for tax resolution, you need to sign form 2848. So we're going to click here to edit this out. It's going to say sign 2848. We're going to map it to whatever tag you want. We're going to say this is a document and then we're going to use template and the template is already here form 2848 and we're going to save. So now that step is complete for tax resolution. So now when your clients are being onboarded and you have an automation sequence for tax resolution, this form is going to pre-populate those fields for them to help speed up the process. So you don't have to do a lot of the manual entry for a lot of your forms.